Hi everyone and welcome back to Insight. So if you are a drone flyer you probably know how irritating it is when the sun hits your phone uh, when you're trying to fly and the brightness of the sun basically makes it very difficult to see the feed from the drone on your tablet or your phone. It's very important when you are in that situation, when you are a drone flyer, to have a very bright phone. When I bought my phone, I specifically looked for a phone that would be bright enough to allow me to fly my drone in a very bright sunlit day. So I did some research and I finally went out and I bought my Samsung S10 Plus, which is a really fine phone. It's very, very bright. And um, it is supposed to be usable in bright sunlight. Now, just as a bit of information, the brightness of a phone is measured in nits. A nit is the standard unit of luminance that's used to describe various sources of light. So a higher rating means a brighter display. Displays for laptops and mobile devices are usually between 200 and 300 nits on average. So a rating over 300 nits is solid and a rating above 500 nits is really, really, really good. So the Samsung S10 Plus has a nit value of 1,215 nits. So that's really on the high end of uh, nits uh, for a phone. So when I bought this, this phone, I, I thought that I would be able to see my video feed from my drone even when it was really bright outside, when there was a lot of sun. But as, but as it turns out, it's not the case. Even with a really bright phone like the S10 Plus, I still need something to cover the phone because the sun still makes it very difficult to see. So basically, I need what a lot of drone flyers use, um, a sunshade. So you can go out and buy a sunshade. Uh, it's not really that expensive, but I decided that given the fact that I have a 3D printer, that I might as well design and print uh, a sunshade myself. Because after all, a sunshade is basically a box that covers your phone. And with a 3D printer, I can design the sunshade to fit my phone perfectly. And that's exactly what I did. I designed a sunshade using uh, Fusion 360, which is a CAD program, computer-aided design. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you my design and then I'll print it out, and then I'll go out and try it out. So if you wanna see this, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. So um, the sunshade itself is just basically a, uh, a box. So it looks uh, like this, uh, that's, this is the final uh, version of it um, the holes here are for the phone buttons and alt another hole here at the top is uh, again for the on off button of the phone the phone will rest against the back of the sunshade and uh, there's room here for the holder that I use uh, so I needed to make this cut here. And um, this is basically it. Now, one of the issues that I had was 
how do I keep the phone against the back here? I did make some uh, rests here for the phone, but I needed a better way to ensure that the phone doesn't pop out. Uh, and I was thinking of using magnets here, getting magnets from the dollar store and putting them here like magnet buttons which I did find and uh, they are very inexpensive and I was almost going to put them on because I do have a magnet phone holder in my car so I figured well I could use magnets and keep the phone uh, attached to the sunshade but then I did some research and this is where research is really important before you do anything. I did some research and it, it kind of occurred to me before I did the research, this is what propelled me to do the research. Uh, what would happen if you put magnets near uh, a controller for a drone? Will it interfere at all with what the drone is uh, doing with the flight of the drone? And sure enough, um, you're not supposed to put magnets near a controller because it will interfere with the compass and this is not something that you want to have happen so I basically scrapped that idea I did not want a fly away or for my drone to come down because of interference so the magnet idea is a great idea but uh, it's not gonna work so anyway um, I had to rethink this and um, I thought that instead of using a magnet, I would simply put a bit of Velcro here and that would work just fine. So the next thing I also did was um, decide that I would make a bottom for the sunshade because a lot of sun gets reflected off the ground and right into the sunshade. So this helps from, for, from, for the light coming from the top but you need something to prevent the light from uh, from coming in from the bottom. So I uh, also made a bottom for the sunshade, which would clip on. And um, I, I was thinking of putting some kind of hinges here and making, you know, it move up and down with hinges. Uh, but hinges are really quite tricky. So I decided to resort to the easy way out, which is using um, good old duct tape. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna try. So basically this is my design. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is uh, go out and print it. And uh, then I'll try it and we'll go, we'll go out uh, to a field and I, I'll see whether the design actually works to keep the sun out. So let's get printing. All right, so the printing is all done. Uh, it's uh, done uh, really well I think it turned out uh, very very well and uh, I've got it all set up on my controller the phone is in there um, I can easily turn the phone on and off from this uh, button here um, and I think that uh, it works um, just as expected I used the duct tape to uh, create the hinge I put a little bit of Velcro here to be able to open and shut the the, the bottom flap. And um, it really um, is secure on here. It's not gonna come off. So I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I think it, um, it looks really good. And uh, the phone fits in the sunshade <clears throat> perfectly um, the side here for putting in the cords uh, seems to be working just fine um, so everything um, seems perfect 
So the next th thing that's left to do is to go out and to try it, which is um, what I'm going to do. So let's go for it. All right, so uh, the sunshade uh, seems to be working really well, even though it's not really all that sunny here. So I can't really do an exact uh, test because uh, the sun is not really getting in the way, but the visual quality is really good and I think uh, it fits really well and uh, it seems to be working quite well. I'm going to come back again and do it perhaps on a sunnier day to see what it's like. I'm going to go actually where it's sunnier over here just to give it a, a test. It's very sunny here. And uh, yeah, even here with, with the sun right on it, the, the evening sun, it's, it's working okay. Yeah, there it is. It's pretty good. You can still see the image. So I, I'm happy with this. Uh, the, the, the shade seems to be doing exactly what I wanted it to do. All right, let's do a bit of flying. For the most part, the um, sunshade is a success. It works like I want it to work. Maybe I can make a few little tweaks here and there, but I'm very happy with uh, the way it turned out. Anyway, uh, take care for now. Hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you later for another video. Bye-bye.